Welcome to Shark Week. I thought I would start off this lesson by drawing some water. When you are making water, it is important to have a variety of blues. Blues and crayons, blues and markers. And you are going to color them. And Hello! Well, hello! It's Mark the Shark! How are you doing, Mark? I'm excited, Miss W, because it's uh, Shark Week! That's right! We are doing art lessons about sharks! Well, that's great! And I'm here because I know a thing or two about sharks! I bet you do! Did you know sharks go to school? Well... <laughs> I know when a group of sharks swim together, it's called school. No, I mean actual school. C can I share a story about this one shark named Clark? He goes to school. Sure. Okay, let's hear the story about Clark the Shark. And today we are reading the wonderful book, Clark the Shark. Written by Bruce Hale and illustrated by Guy Francis. Let us begin. In all of the wide blue seas, in all of the wide blue world, the top school for fish was the Theodore Roosterfish Elementary. And of all the fish, the Theodore Roosterfish, the biggest and the strongest was Clark the Shark. Clark loved school, and he loved his teacher, Mrs. Inkydink. He loved to play upsy-downsy, spin him a jig with his friends. Clark loved his life. School is awesome, shouted Clark the shark. Less shouting, more reading, said Mrs. Inkydink. Lunchtime is sweet, yelled Clark the shark. Munch your own lunch, said his best friend, Joey Mackerel. Recess rocks, bellowed Clark the Shark. You're playing too rough, Clark, cried the other kids. Yes, Clark loved his life with all of his sharky heart. But he loved everything way too much. He was too loud. He was too wild. He was just too much shark for the other fish to handle. After a while, no one would play with Clark. No one ate lunch with Clark. No one sat with him at circle time. Even his best friend, Joey Mackerel, said, cool your jets, Clark. You're making me crazy. One day, Clark asked Mrs. Inky Dink, what's wrong with everyone? Mrs. Inky Dink, she patted his fin. Clark, sometimes you play too hard. You munch too hard. Gosh, you even, you even help too hard. But life is so exciting, said Clark. There's a time and a place for everything, said Mrs. Inky Ding. And sometimes the rule is stay cool. At recess, Clark tried to stay cool, but he pushed the swing with too much zing. Oh, sorry, said Clark. I forgot. Yikes, cried Joey Mackerel. At lunch, Clark tried to stay cool. Everything smelled so good, he munched a bunch of lunches. Well, sorry, said Clark, I forgot. We're starving, said his friends. And in class, Clark tried to stay cool, but a good book got him all shook up. Now, Clark, said Mrs. Inky Dink, this isn't the time or the place. Tell me, what's the rule? Stay cool, said Clark. Hey, that rhymes, he cried. And Clark got a big idea in his sharky head. Maybe if I make a rhyme, I'll remember every time, he thought. The next day, he put his plan to work. In class, when lessons got exciting, Clark wanted to bounce up out of his seat. Instead, he told himself, when teacher's talking, don't go walking. And what do you know, it worked. boy, Clark, said Mrs. Inky Dink. Clark smiled. Wow, lessons are fun. At lunch, everything smelled so yummy. And when Clark wanted to eat and eat and never stop, he told himself, 
Only munch your own lunch. And it worked again. Way to go, Clark, said his friends. Clark grinned. Ah, oh, lunch is fun. At playtime, Clark told himself, easy does it, that's the way. Then my friends will let me play. Now playtime was fun. Once more, Clark loved his life. But then, ooh, a shadow fell across the playground. A ginormous shadow with tentacles galore. It's a new kid and he, he looks scary, cried Joey Mackerel. Swim for your lives. The squid squashed the slide and it snapped off the swings. Oops, my bad, said the new kid. Wait, said Clark. He just wants to play. Let's, let's find a way. And he swam at the new kid with all his might. Clark played harder than he ever had before. Upsy downsy, spin him a jig. Why, he even made up a new game. Tail Wumpalumpus. Wow, that was fun, said the new kid breathlessly. And he settled down. Now, if you want to come to school, you got to stay cool, said Clark. That's right, Clark, said Mrs. Inky Dink. And thanks for taking care of our new classmate, Sid the Squid. Hooray for Clark the Shark! Everyone cheered! <sighs> that night, Clark's mother asked, What did you learn at school, dear? Oh, there's a time and a place for everything, Clark said. Sometimes you stay cool. But sometimes a shark's gotta do what a shark's gotta do. The end. That was Wow, Clark sure has a lot of energy. He's a shark with a lot of zing, zang, bang, and boom. We can learn a lot from Clark about self-control, when to be cool, and when to be a shark. Hey, hey Mark, you look a little dry. Yeah, I better get back to the ocean. Have a great Art Class Academy stars. See you later, Mark. Well, that was a fun story about Clark the Shark, and wasn't it great meeting Mark? I bet those two really get along really well. So this week is all about sharks, and we're going to be doing a lot of different shark activities. So I put up on our little website some shark, act shark activities for you to explore. There's a cool website and some videos about sharks that you can look at. And there's also some really great art lessons that we're going to do. Now these art lessons are go from kindergarten all the way up to my third graders. And if you want to do all of them, do all of them. Um, they're really just fun and exploratory art lessons and I hope you'll enjoy them. I'm going to meet you at the demonstration table and go through each of these lessons rather quickly because they're easy, but they're also a lot of fun. So meet me at the demonstration table. Okay, so one of the first lessons we're going to do, and don't do it, is, I know you're going to start singing that song. Yes, it is Baby Shark. Baby Shark. Do, 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 do. So baby sharks are really easy to draw. This is the finished example. Um, in your, uh, web, at your website, I should say, you're going to find the steps, step one, two, three, four, and five, on how to build a baby shark. And you can change the sizes of your baby sharks from small to large to medium. And the way you do that is you start off with sort of an oval that looks like a hamburger bun. So you start off with a nice little oval. Step two is you're going to divide that oval. So this is going to be the colored. This is going to be the white side. You add the eyes and you can put them in any direction that they're looking at. So circle and then two maybe half circles. The mouth is a semicircle, And then you add the teeth. They're baby sharks. They're not so sharp teeth that I'm going to add. I'm going to add some like little softer teeth. If you want to add a tongue, another semicircle, Two little dots for the nostrils. Now to make it into the shark, you have to add the fins on either side. The top fin, the trickiest part is the tail, which is two lines that go out. You sort of make a Y and then a triangle that goes on the inside 
and meets the outside of that wide. Why? And that's your baby shark. That is one of the first lessons that you can do for fun. Create a whole school of baby sharks. The next lesson that you can do is doing Clark the shark. In the story, one of my favorite scenes is Clark the shark having such a fun time at lunch, eating everybody else's lunch. Um, I love just hearing the munching noise and, and the food going everywhere because he's super excited about food as I am. Uh, so what I did in my picture is I put some of my favorite foods for lunch. Tacos and hot dogs and, yeah, ice cream, peanut butter and jelly, pizza, cookies, hamburgers, my milk, orange juice, and apples. And, oh yeah, my banana. I can't forget my banana. My banana looks really good. And here's his iconic shirt, his red and white shirt. Um, this is really easy to do. And I'm going to kind of put this off to the side and show you and you're going to get in your kit again our, what we call our little cheat sheets going through there's five steps to this so how do you get started well you're going to draw that bottom line at the, at the bottom we call this like your horizon line and then we're going to make sort of an upside down U with a little bit more of a point at the top and there you go and then we're going to follow that with his mouth so his mouth is just a smaller version of the large U. So I'm just going to go up and then back down. And then it kind of turns into a, what I have to call a boomerang. So it kind of goes up and there's your boomerang. Do you see the boomerang? Yeah, that's his mouth. Then a zigzag for the teeth inside that boomerang. I like to add his flippers now. Or his, uh, I guess they're their fins which serve as arms, and then his striped shirt. Notice that I am going behind that fin, not going across it. So we're doing a little overlapping there. And after you get to this part, you add all the food elements. You're gonna add all your favorite foods and make it sort of chaotic and messy. He is very excited about food and being at lunch. Okay. Here. So the third assignment you're going to do is this little guy right here. And he looks really innocent. He wouldn't hurt anybody, wouldn't eat anybody. Probably we could have him as a pet, but as soon as you open it, ah, he's eating you for lunch. So this is an interesting uh, thing to do because we are going to fold paper. And it's a little tricky to do. So I'm going to fold my paper, I'm trying to think what would be the best way to do this for you. I'm going to fold it just a little bit up like that. So I have about at least half. And then I'm going to flip it over. Yeah. And I have something like that. So let's just do that again because it's a little tricky. To see. I'm gonna see if I can do it. Maybe it. so you can fold your paper like this, flip it over, and fold it like like that. And you should have something like this so it opens up. Okay? I hope you can follow that. It might be you might have to stop and redo that. The next thing you do, you're just gonna draw your shark. And that's the bottom of his mouth, his fins on the side, top fin, and then maybe his tail, eyes. I like to do another line up here for his mouth, so that's the white part of the shark, okay? So now when you open it up, what you have to do is connect this line to that line. And then I like to do sort of a big opening here. And that's where the teeth go. And then it folds right back down and you don't see the teeth. You shouldn't see the teeth at all. Okay. I have a black and white version. I will scan it this way. 
and this way so you can see the black and white version and then that's a color version which you can see a lot of different details were added to make it an interesting background and two tones inside the mouth to make that also interesting so that's your third assignment the trickiest part is the fold and you might have to do that a couple of times because even i have always forget how to fold that paper so here's the last assignment or activity that you you can do for this week's shark week this is a hammerhead shark and i really love hammerhead sharks to do this assignment you're going to roll a piece of paper I'm just using copy paper. In fact, all my projects have been done on just simple copy paper. I'm going to take some tape, tape the ends like so. And that's going to become the top part. I'm going to take another piece of paper. And this is tricky. I don't know if you know how to do this, but I'm going to make a little bit of a square. I'm going to fold my paper, not directly in half. You could, but I like to have it a little bit more than half and I flip it over and really make that fold nice and if you take a ruler put it along that fold you don't even have to use scissors okay that's going to become the body of the shark you are then going to fold that in half I'm going to make two fins like so take my scissors and cut them out open them up and then I'll just get my two fins I'm using tape for all of this so you can use tape you can use glue I'm gonna tape that on to the sides of my little rectangle here and then with the rest of my paper I'm gonna make a sort of a, a tail and cut that out and do the best that you can you don't have to be perfect I actually made two I don't need to and I'm going to take the tail now and tape that up to the top I don't want to see the tape so I flip that over okay if I need to erase these pencil lines I will that's no big deal if I keep them it adds a little character to the thing then I'm going to make a nice big mouth I've done that in black. I would color the mouth all red and once I get the teeth in. I'm just outlining this in black. I wish I had done that earlier. That's okay. And I'm making his teeth at the top. These are his gills. And then I would color the inside of his mouth red. I won't waste your precious time with you watching me color. But, you know, color in one direction always makes things look neater. So always think about your craft and your technique. When you get that done, um, I take the top part of my hammerhead. And I'm going to draw two eyes on either side. And using my tape, I'm going to flip this over and put a piece of tape more like more in the middle. You don't want it on the sides because this goes a little bit over the square. And then just kind of eyeball it and you press it down. And there you go. You have a hammerhead. And maybe make a school of them. And put them all over your room or all over your house. It's Shark Week. Yeah! All right, guys, I can't wait to see what you do. Please share your wonderful shark art with me. And also, this is our last art lesson before April break. So I'll see you not next week, but the week after that. And enjoy your break. <sighs> You're gonna take those crayons and you are going to. Okay, that ruins the sharp sweet.